Hi students, uh, the next topic is the pipeline processing. So what is this pipeline? In a computing, a pipeline is nothing but it is a set of data processing element. It is nothing but a set of data processing data processing elements which are connected in series which are connected in which are connected in series so here where the output of one element output of one element is the input of the next element so it's nothing but as a set of data processing elements which are connected in series the output of one instruction is the input of the next instruction so this is a pipelining process so before going to know about the pipelining process let us uh, how the program is executing in the form of pipelining let us see so uh, a program will be present in memory so we have to fetch that program from memory so whatever the data that is present in the memory uh, so whatever the instruction that we want to be execute that will be fetched from memory so here the program can execute it in five phases so whatever the instruction that is present in the program will be executed in five phases so instruction get from memory and executed in five phases so these phases or instruction fetch instruction decode opcode fetch opcode execute and operand store okay so these are the different five phases that are take place when an instruction is executing in the process so first first we have to fetch the instruction from memory fetch the instruction from memory after fetching the instruction you have to decode that instruction so whatever the instruction that you fetch it from memory you have to decode that instruction so after decoding the instruction you have to fetch the operand so whatever the operand that uh, the instruction means the data is present that operand you have to be fetched after fetching the operand you have to execute that operand so after execution finally we have to store the operand store operand so these are the five phases that are take a uh, taking place while a program or instruction is executing in the processor so now coming to the pipelining how this instruction is executing in the form of pipelining uh, in a program there are so many instructions so one one by one the instruction is executing in the processor so each instruction will be executing in the form of pipelining so before going to know about the pipelining process let us see the difference between the pipelining and non pipelining so let us assume uh, whatever the instruction that is fetched from memory will be executing in the form of non pipelining process non pipelining processing so how the instruction is executing in the form of non pipelining process so first instruction fetch after that instruction decode next operand fetch operand execute then operand store so one instruction is executed and stored in the memory so this is a uh, i instruction so after the completion of the one cycle it goes to the another instruction the, again it takes the another instruction from the program it fetch that instruction from memory instruction decode operand fetch operand execute and finally operand stored okay after that i plus 2 so like the uh, likewise it is ex uh, taking the instructions each instruction from program and executing one by one after the completion of one instruction it taking the another instruction after the completion of another instruction it is taking the next instruction so this is a non pipelining process 
so here the wastage of timing is more because each after the completion of uh, one instruction only you have to go to the another instruction so see the pipelining process so how the um, instruction is executing in the pipelining now coming to the pipeline processing so how the instruction is executing with the help of pipeline processing so in the first i instruction first it fetch the instruction instruction decode operand fetch operand execute operand store so uh, in non pipelining after executing uh, storing the value of the first instruction it takes the second instruction but in the pipelining so whenever one phase is completed it takes another instruction means instruction fetch instruction decode operand fetch operand execute operand store so this is i plus 1 instruction next is the i plus 2 so i plus 2 instruction fetch instruction decode operand fetch operand execute next operand store okay so this is a pipelining process see the difference here after completing of one instruction only it takes another instruction but in the pipelining process only the phase is completed so if the instruction fetch phase completed then it takes another instruction so in the phase of instruction decode so whenever the first instruction is in the phase of instruction decode it takes another instruction fetch so in the in the case of operand fetch suppose the first instruction is in the phase of operand fetch and the second the second instruction is in the instruction decode fetch and the third instruction is in the phase of instruction fetch here each phase will be different so whatever the instruction you are taking from the memory these phases are not coinciding with each other so one is in operand fetch stage and another is in instruction decode fetch and another in is in instruction fetch phase so all are in different phases so here the phase wise interleave is there so whereas in this uh, non pipelining this is instruction wise interleave you call this as instruction wise interleave and you call this as a phase wise interleave so here you call this as a tp tp is nothing but a phase duration so phase duration so this tp each phase duration means how much time you're taking for each phase and this is complete you call it as tn tn is nothing but is a total instruction duration so this is the total instruction duration so this is the, uh, the way of pipelining uh, processing means if you take any program from memory to have to execute that program that program will have different types of instructions each program will be divided into in different instructions so each instruction will executed in five phases different phases so if you take in non pipelining process this is the way it the pro each instruction will be executing in the process and the pipelining process after the completion of one phase it takes another instruction after the completion of the another phase it takes another instruction so here the total number of cycles will be means the phase duration is one two three four five six seven so here the phase duration is only the seven whereas in here this is a five 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 means five three is fifteen so here the phase duration is fifteen and here this is only the seven so the time wastage is also reduced in the pipelining processor and here the pipelining processor will execute faster when comparing to the non pipelining processing okay so layer here the pipelining is widely used in the modern processors so the main it will be used in the uh, modern processors So and here it also improves the system performance. The pipelining processor will use it for system performance, increase the system performance 
will go for the pipelining processor so if there means a, the system performance will be in, uh, increased in the form of throughput throughput is nothing but here's the number of works done at a given time okay the main idea of pipelining in computer is the processor execute the program by fetching and executing the instructions uh, one after the other so let us see one example uh, how this uh, pipelining process will be executed so let us take one example uh, so let us uh, example will be the uh, you want to execute one instruction a i star b i plus c i so this is the instruction you have to be execute uh, this is a program that will be executed uh, so here the instructions will be for i is equal to 1 2 up to 7 let us assume up to 7 means 7 instructions will be there 7 uh, cycles you have to be perform okay here each sub operation is to be performed in a segment uh, within a uh, within a pipeline here each segment has one or two registers uh, and that all will be connected in a combinational circuit so let us take the sub operation of this instruction uh, in each segment of a pipeline let us store r1 a will be moved to r1 register and uh, bi is moved to r2 register so these are the inputs so we are giving just inputs inputs of a a i and b i so these are the inputs and next r3 is doing the operation of r1 star r2 means it is multiplying so multiplying the both operands so those operand values will be stored in the registers so you have to do the operations only with the help of registers first move the values into the registers and you have to do the operation only with the help of registers you can't multiply direct operands or direct data okay so r3 r1 star r2 after that so r4 you move the ci value so whatever the ci value that will be moved to the r4 so r5 is so a star b i means r3 r3 and c i is r4 so both have to be added so the final result will be stored in the r5 okay so this is the example of the pipelining so let us see how this uh, will be uh, written in the form of a diagram so let us uh, take this example a star b i plus c i so so this is the equation that is a i star b i plus c i so first we are moving the uh, values into the registers so a i will be moved to the r1 register and bi is moved to the r2 register okay so what next so we have to multiply ai and bi so do multiplication so you have to place the multiplier after that multiplication the value will be stored in the r3 r3 register okay so again you have to place the uh, ci in r4 register so now the r3 contains ai into bi and r4 contains the ci so after that you have to add this this value and this will be added so place the adder so that is r3 ai into bi plus ci will final result will be stored in the r5 register so this is the output so this is the way how the instruction will be executed in the processor instruction by instruction okay so let us see how the contents of these values will be stored in the form of a pipelining so here the ai bi and ci we have taken the i from 0 to 7 1 to 7 
so this is the content of the registers in pipeline uh, so let us take the example of this how here the instructions are executing in the form of pipeline so this is a segment one the segment one has having the registers r1 and r2 r1 r2 is holding the values a b and segment r r2 is r3 r4 r3 is doing the uh, addition operation and uh, sorry multiplication operation and r4 is storing the value of c1 and the final result will be stored in the r5 so this is a segment 3 so it is doing the calculation of multiplier as well as uh, means addition it is doing the addition okay so first clock pulse during first clock pulse the segment a1 and b1 so during second clock pulse it is a2 and b2 and in the segment 2 it is performing a1 into b1 and this is the c1 so it is nothing is doing so in the third clock pulse a3 b3 it is doing the multiplication of this and here it is adding a1 into b1 plus c1 okay so here one operation one instruction is executed so next again a3 a3 b3 so this will be added a3 b3 a star uh, the segment 2 is uh, doing the multiplication of a2 b2 and it's storing the value of c2 and the result will be here a2 b2 plus c2 which will be take place in the fourth clock pulse so in the same way it is executing in the pipelining process means here you can check uh, each phase will be different so here it is fetching and here it is uh, decoding and here it is executing so each uh, all the phases will be in different stages no two phases will be colliding uh, so one instruction is executing in one phase another instruction is executing in another phase okay so this is like that it is executing okay and a6 here and what totally we have taken the 7 0 to 7 a7 b7 so the, here the operands will be fetched after fetching it has to be decoded and after decoding it will be executed so in one phase it is day uh, in one cycle it is fetching in another cycle it is uh, decoding and in another cycle it is executing okay so this is a uh, example of the pipelining process thank you